The revelation of a new exoplanet has stargazers energized, as it very well may be an indication of something significant happening. For quite a long time, the fantasy about finding life beyond Earth has intrigued humankind. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, that fantasy could soon become a reality. The telescope has uncovered an intriguing secret in Proxima Centauri, the nearest star system to us. Among its planets, Proxima b stands out with strange artificial lights, leaving the scientific community perplexed and captivated. Could this be the long-awaited evidence of intelligent life beyond our planetary group? How do researchers determine if these lights suggest the presence of intelligent life on Proxima b? Join us as we dive into how the James Webb Telescope recently detected city lights 7 trillion miles from Earth. Humans have always been intensely curious about the mysteries of the universe. Through mechanical advancements, our natural drive to explore the earth and sky continues to push us forward. Despite thousands of years of development, earth remains the only planet we know to harbor life. As such, the age-old question endures, are we the only inhabitants of the universe, or are there civilizations hidden among the stars, just waiting for us to find them? To answer this challenging question, two American cosmologists, Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson, initiated a project called the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, in 1984. This nonprofit endeavor aims to sift through infinite space, focusing on spaceborne radio transmissions. These radio waves, capable of traveling vast distances, are the primary means for potential extraterrestrial communication. To this end, 42 radio telescopes located in the heart of the Californian Cascade Mountains were carefully tuned to the frequencies of the universe. These radio telescopes, known as the Allen Telescope Array, were designed to detect any alien signal from space. While researchers have scanned the sky for reliable signs over many years, to date, there is no convincing evidence of signals originating from an extraterrestrial civilization. However, recent reports from NASA suggest that the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, may have spotted artificial city lights from nearby planets. Is there any substance to this? Let's find out. The successful launch of the James Webb Space Telescope marks a giant step forward for humanity in understanding the universe. The JWST is the most advanced instrument in human history to comprehend what the universe holds. Located around 1 million miles from Earth, this giant telescope is our window to the earliest times of the universe. It brings previously elusive observation points closer, shedding light on the formation of galaxies, stars, and planets. Astronomers harness the JWST's state-of-the-art cameras and filters to capture and analyze the complex colors surrounding celestial objects. Through the JWST, researchers can gather valuable data about the chemical compositions and physical properties of celestial bodies in the farthest reaches of the universe. They accomplish this by isolating specific frequencies of light beyond simple observation. The JWST explores the atmospheres of exoplanets for hints of life. Its unparalleled ability to see beyond the limits of reality has led to some of the most surprising discoveries. For example, through the telescope, astronomers have discovered more mass than previously thought to exist in the universe, hidden in several massive galaxies. This finding has challenged earlier ideas about the structure and proportions of the universe. With humanity choosing to explore the farthest reaches of the universe, the JWST will be a crucial tool in solving the mysteries of isolated worlds and preparing for new astrophysical data. Only 20 years ago, the realm beyond our solar system was largely unknown and devoid of any trace of known planets. However, astronomers have since discovered over 4,000 exoplanets orbiting distant stars, a remarkable demonstration of human ingenuity and technological advancement. According to NASA, this inventory may be just the tip of the cosmic iceberg, indicating the presence of trillions more exoplanets scattered throughout the universe. In the enthusiastic search for extraterrestrial life, scientists continue to look toward the possibility of identifying alien territories beyond where we have previously ventured. As fate would have it, during the Galileo spacecraft's journey to Jupiter, its spectroscopic instrument unexpectedly revealed a distinct spectral mark that indicated earthbound vegetation. 
This notable discovery marks the first time researchers have identified a biosignature, the Vegetation Red Edge, VRE. The VRE examines alien life distinctly by focusing on the way it reflects light. Thanks to the VRE, the JWST is expected to uncover the secrets of extraterrestrial environments. It will do this by carefully mapping the orbital parameters of potentially habitable, distant exoplanets located within the habitable zones of their alien parent stars. If detected, these VRE signals could be crucial evidence in the search for intelligent life outside our planet. It will be the beginning of a new venture for us in our quest to uncover the secrets of the universe. As sunlight passes through atmospheric layers, the dissolved light, carrying various frequencies, is absorbed by the particles and molecules in these layers. This absorption gives rise to a typical spectral pattern, like unique fingerprints, that can be interpreted through spectroscopic analysis. It is theorized that when light from a star reaches a planet, the JWST will be able to detect it as it enters the planet's atmosphere. Thus, the JWST could be the key to revealing the atmospheric composition of distant exoplanets, a fundamental indicator of their potential for life. Earth-sized planets with atmospheres rich in oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, like Earth, could have conditions conducive to life as we know it. However, the absence of expected elements or the presence of unusual compounds could imply alternative forms of life or even mechanical civilizations. Interestingly, chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, which are man-made compounds primarily used for refrigeration and industrial purposes, could help researchers prove the existence of an extraterrestrial civilization. If the JWST detects such artificial particles in the atmosphere of exoplanets, it will open new avenues for strong evidence of extraterrestrial activity beyond our solar system. This represents a very intriguing endeavor for astronomical scientists, opening a new door into the atmospheric compositions of different worlds and the possibility of exotic civilizations well beyond the Milky Way. Certainly, the discovery of existence beyond our planet is defined by several prospects that go beyond the limitations of natural science. While we often imagine life as we know it thriving in calm environments like ours, the reality might be significantly more diverse and extreme. For example, extremophiles, an intriguing group of organisms predominantly consisting of microorganisms, challenge our understanding of suitable living conditions. These hardy life forms can easily survive and even thrive in conditions generally considered very severe. Extremophiles can endure even the most adverse conditions, with temperatures up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and pH levels below 3. They are remarkable examples of resilience and adaptability. The toughness of living things under difficult circumstances underscores the limitless dynamics of the universe and the countless conditions associated with it. This indicates that our quest for extraterrestrial life should be broad. However, while Earth-like planets orbiting stable Sun-like stars provide valid potential opportunities, we should also consider alternative scenarios. Prime candidates for investigation might include exoplanets orbiting red dwarf stars, M dwarfs, which are more abundant in the universe. Despite their lower brightness and cooler temperatures compared to our Sun, these stars offer significant opportunities to explore the potential for life in different conditions. The long life expectancy of red dwarf stars provides ample time for the slow, complex cycles of life's emergence and evolution to unfold. Found approximately 40 light-years from Earth, the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system is a prime focus for the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, mission. This stunning system consists of a faint red dwarf star and seven Earth-sized rocky planets orbiting it. Three of these identified planets are designated as habitable and may likely have water on their surfaces. Although the TRAPPIST-1 star is smaller and cooler than our Sun, it emits a gentle and Earth-like light suitable for supporting life on its orbiting planets. Among the different stars in the cosmic region, Proxima Centauri rises as a beacon of potential. At a distance of just 4.25 light-years from the Sun, Proxima Centauri is the closest star to our own. Despite its faint gleam, this star can be seen in the night sky. 
However, its weak radiance implies that any habitable planet orbiting it must be approximately 20 times closer than Earth is to the Sun to support life-sustaining conditions. In an intriguing discovery on August 24, 2016, cosmologists found a planet with 1.3 times the mass of Earth situated within Proxima Centauri's habitable zone. This Goldilocks region offers a delicate balance of light intensity, making it perfect for melting ice into water and potentially sustaining the seeds of life. Proxima b, a galactic catch, 22, orbits Proxima Centauri at a distance of just 4.6 million miles from its small red star. Despite its proximity, which exposes it to strong solar winds that can strip away its atmosphere and make it barren, Proxima b receives enough sunlight to maintain Earth-like temperatures where water can exist in liquid form. However, the planet's close orbit likely results in tidal locking, causing one side to be in constant extreme sunlight while the other experiences absolute darkness, similar to the Moon's relationship with Earth. With just 18% of the mass of the Sun, Proxima Centauri emits substantially less light. Combined with Proxima b's proximity to its star, only 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun, Proxima Centauri defies conventional assumptions. It suggests that Proxima b might not be the blazing hell one would expect for a planet so close to its star. Despite the challenges posed by its close orbit and potential loss of atmosphere to solar winds, Proxima b offers compelling possibilities. If it holds a protective atmosphere capable of trapping heat, liquid water might exist on its surface, opening the door to the captivating possibility of habitability beyond Earth. With Proxima b receiving only 65% of Earth's total solar energy, its prospects for fostering life are quite low. The planet's potential tidal locking creates extreme temperature differentials between its scorching day side and cold night side. These harsh conditions, compounded by Proxima b's proximity to Proxima Centauri, subject the planet to intense radiation, including X-rays and ultraviolet light, making it inhospitable to life as we know it. Moreover, Proxima b is bombarded by high-energy particles during stellar flare-ups. Unless the planet boasts a protective magnetic field like Earth's, these bombardments could strip away its atmosphere, removing the conditions essential for life to flourish. Sensible modeling suggests that tidally locked planets like Proxima b may experience rapid atmospheric breakdown as volatile gases freeze out on the night side. Unlike Earth, where volcanic activity replenishes the atmosphere, Proxima b lacks such mechanisms. The secrets surrounding Proxima b extend beyond its surface conditions to its actual potential for harboring advanced civilizations. Until now, our knowledge offers little insight into Proxima b's volcanic activity or the strength of its magnetic field. However, the enticing possibility of an atmosphere fuels speculation about the planet's potential for hosting life. The presence of an atmosphere on Proxima b would suggest the existence of oceans and raise the prospect of life. The mission to uncover signs of natural developments on Proxima b has strengthened, driven by the hypothesis that organisms might have devised clever solutions to overcome the planet's inhospitable conditions. One interesting concept suggests deploying massive solar chargers across Proxima b's day side. These panels would harness the star's energy to illuminate and warm the perpetually dark and cold night side. Such an undertaking could transform the desolate landscape into habitable zones that support life. The discovery of Proxima b has also ignited a race among astronomers to determine if it crosses its star's face as seen from Earth. These transits would allow scientists to measure the planet's size and mass, confirming its rocky composition and offering insights into the materials that make up its rocks. Additionally, starlight passing through Proxima b's atmosphere during these transits provides clues about the structure of its atmosphere and its habitability. Despite the challenges, the search to unravel the mystery of Proxima b remains a priority, fueled by the insatiable human thirst for knowledge and the possibility of other life forms outside our solar system. Another factor to consider is Proxima Centauri's turbulent nature, capable of significant flares, increasing the complexity of investigating the habitable universe of Proxima b. Cosmologist David Kipping from Columbia University describes the star as unstable, highlighting the challenge posed by its variable heating patterns. 
While rocky planets typically absorb sunlight and emit infrared radiation, Proxima b's case differs. Its infrared signature differs from that of its host star, Proxima Centauri, presenting a unique opportunity for observation. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, acts as a savior, as it can detect infrared frequencies. Proxima Centauri's unique infrared intensity signature will help us discover the secrets of its climate. The state-of-the-art infrared imaging capabilities of the JWST are fully equipped to reveal the secrets of Proxima B's atmospheric components and provide novel insights into the possibilities of living on it. Furthermore, the JWST's infrared sensitivity extends the investigation to Proxima B's night side. Despite the daunting challenge of detecting faint artificial illumination against immense darkness, the JWST's advanced technology enables it to observe even the slightest flickers of light. The JWST will be capable of confirming the rumors about city lights on Proxima B's night side, even if they are as weak as the lights we currently use at night. The telescope can detect artificial illumination, provided it falls within a frequency band 1,000 times narrower than starlight. Proxima B's unique climate presents a fascinating relationship between its surface features and celestial interactions. The planet's day side, if filled with many solar chargers, will harness the star's radiant energy, while its spectral edge efficiently reflects incoming light rays. As Proxima B completes its orbit around its host star, its 24-7 sides experience identical cycles characterized by mild daytime highs and cool nighttime lows. However, the degree of temperature variations depends on the planet's structure. If Proxima B lacks an atmosphere, the difference between its perpetual sides would be wide. Without the moderating effect of atmospheric gases and oceans, the day side would radiate heat like a black body while the night side plunges into cold darkness. By observing the extent of temperature variation, astronomers can gain valuable insights into Proxima B's climatic structure. With its unmatched infrared imaging capabilities, the JWST will scrutinize the planet's thermal emissions, providing invaluable data about its atmospheric properties. Remarkably, the JWST's orbit around Earth aligns with Proxima b's orbital period, facilitating continuous observations of both its day and night sides within 11.2 Earth days. Assuming Proxima b has an atmosphere, the next step is to analyze its atmospheric chemistry to see if it can support life. Certain gases, such as oxygen, water vapor, or even methane, if present, are good indicators of habitable conditions and the possible existence of life. However, the analysis requires meticulously capturing and examining light beams interacting with or passing through Proxima B's atmosphere, an inherently challenging endeavor. Although the James Webb Space Telescope provides significant opportunities for characterizing planetary atmospheres, its primary mission is different. The telescope is primarily tuned to examine the variations in methane, carbon dioxide, and water vapor concentration. Although it is limited in detecting reinforced oxygen, a strong signature of life, the JWST may still have reasons to search for other substances. This includes ozone, which could provide information about the natural level of energy in the planet's atmosphere. Additionally, the JWST doesn't have absolute capabilities, and its gaze is limited to a few of the closer and potentially habitable worlds. To conduct a more comprehensive atmospheric analysis, astronomers are turning to ground-based observatories like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, planned to start operations in 2028. The ELT is uniquely positioned to delve deeper into the atmospheric composition of distant exoplanets. Its data will provide remarkable insight into their habitability. As we eagerly await the deployment of future space telescopes, the James Webb Space Telescope remains a crucial tool.